Okay, students. Now we are going to study about the Sommer field explanation about the spectral lines. Okay. Before this, there was only one quantum number. Now Sommer field explained that in, around the nucleus, electron revolves in a spherical shell. Uh, not only spherical orbit, it also revolves in an elliptical orbital. Not only in uh, circular orbit, it revolves in the elliptical orbital. The, it's uh, it has two components when it uh, revolves around it in the elliptical orbital it is having the two component they are the distance from the nucleus itself keep on varying second one is angle angle with respect to the axis that is five this is what five is five is the angle between the electron and the major axis as it moves, angle also changes. Apart from this, there will be distance also changes. Now, let us see some important equations. To deal with these two variables, that is angular change and distance change, there are two quantum numbers introduced. First quantum number is introduced from the earlier Bohr's theory, where n, 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 n determines the energy level. Apart from this, no, new quantum number is introduced, that is L which has been introduced to explain the characteristics of angular momentum in an orbit and its values changes from 0 to n minus 1. Okay, where 0 is the principal quantum number and from a up to n minus 1 it can go. Now let us see how the values, L values are possible from 0 to n minus 1. Okay. See, this is the formula B by A is equal to L plus 1 by N, where B corresponds to L value and A corresponds to N value. Okay. Now, let us take first energy level. For first energy level, N is equal to 1 and L is equal to 0. That means in place of A, what we will substitute? In place of A, N related to A and B related to L value. So, A is equal to B when you substitute in the given formula. So, major axis and minor axis both are same. It results in the circular orbit. That means for N is equal to 1, we will get A is equal to B. So, for S subshell, A is equal to V and spherical subshell. It is named as 1S. 1 stands for N and S is for the L value. Let us take the next example. N is equal to 2. For N is equal to 2, L possible values are 0 and 1. So, when I substitute 0, then in the formula we will get B is equal to A by 2. That means both axes are not same. Major axis, minor axis are not same. So, this will result in an elliptical shell. Elliptical shaped shell which is named as 2S. That means when n is equal to 2 and l equal to 0, which corresponds to S subshell, 2s is he is considered as elliptical. But now nowadays we are taking it as a spherical shell. Let us see what about n equal to 2 and l is equal to 1. When I am substituting l is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2, I am getting b is equal to a. That means major and minor axis are same. It is possible for spherical shell or circular shell. So, L is equal to 1 circular for the 2p orbital. Okay. Next, N is equal to 3. So, L values can be 0 to 3 minus 1. That means 0, 1 and 2. The permissible values of N and L are N is equal to 3, L is equal to 0. Where we will get B is equal to A by 3. That means major axis, minor axis are not same. It will result in the elliptical. This corresponds to the 3s subshell. When I put n is equal to 3 and l is equal to 1, again I am getting b not equal to a. b is equal to 2a by 3. So again we are going to get elliptical which corresponds to 3p subshell. So 3s and 3p both are elliptical. Let us see about the 3d. For 3D, N is equal to 3 and L is equal to 2. So, B by A is equal to 2 plus 1 by 3. That means 3 by 3. That means B is equal to A. Here we are getting major axis equal to minor axis. That means 3D is a spherical subshell. 
okay circular shell so 3d designated with circular 3p elliptical and 3s also elliptical there are two elliptical orbitals and one spherical spherical is 3d okay so let us revise about the l values and uh, representation l is equal to 0 represents s l is equal to 1 represents p then l is equal to 2 represents d l equal to 3 f in future l when goes to 4 that time it will be designated as g as of now we have only l is equal to 0 1 2 and 3 only okay in future if it is raised then it can go up to 4 then it is named as a g subshell 